El Chapo's elusive son, Ivan Archivaldo Guzman. As a successor to the gang of the Sinaloa cartel, Ivan Archivaldo Guzman Salazar began trafficking drugs as a teenager. Ivan Archivaldo Guzman has reportedly expanded his father's empire to include meth and fentanyl. How did he do it? Is he the next leader of the Sinaloa cartel? To find out all about it, keep on watching this video. Welcome back to Disturbed World. Our videos are guaranteed to keep you coming back for amazing content. So let's start with today's video. In the late 80s, the infamous Sinaloa cartel in Mexico began trafficking marijuana, cocaine, as well as heroin into the United States. And also from bribery and blackmail to torture and murder, the cartel's methods were ruthless, partly owing to its merciless leader, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, who is the father of Ivan Archivaldo Guzman Salazar. Ivan Archivaldo Guzman Salazar is a well-known Mexican drug smuggler. Salazar is widely recognized as the son of a former drug trafficker and Sinaloa cartel leader, Joaquin Guzman Luera. And in addition, he also manages as well as directs the Sinaloa cartel alongside Ismael Zambada Garcia and his two brothers. While Mexican drug kingpin Al Chapo is in U.S. prison, four of his children are most likely under indictment or under investigation by federal agents. They're called the Los Chapitos, the four most trusted sons of the world-famous drug kingpin. Federal drug investigators in Chicago consider Al Chapo's sons in charge of the Sinaloa cartel, the multi-billion dollar criminal empire once run by Al Chapo. Now, as the son of the world's most well-known cartel leader in the world, El Chapo's son Ivan Archivaldo Guzman Salazar's life is shrouded in secrecy, so much so that not even his birthday is fully agreed upon. As some believe, he was born on 2nd of October 1980 in Culuyacan, Sinaloa, while the U.S. State Department claimed that Ivan Guzman was born on the 15th of August 1983 in Zapopan in Jalisco. And that's not all. Ivan has encountered numerous legal issues throughout his professional career. He's also very well known for being the son of a former drug lord and a former member of the Sinaloa cartel. Currently, Ivan is the leader of the notorious Sinaloa cartel, which is related to the drug mafia. Even the number of siblings Salazar has remains unclear to this day, as Al Chapo had four wives and between 13 to 15 children. Also, it has been confirmed that Salazar was born to his father's first wife, Maria Alejandrina Salazar Hernandez, and that his younger brother, Jesus Alfredo Guzman, was born on 17th of May in the year 1986. Ovidio, Ivan, as well as Jesus Alfredo were brought into the Sinaloa cartel's criminal operations as teenagers by El Chapo and El Mayo to learn the ins and outs of the business. The young Salazar likely wanted nothing in his childhood, However, at the same time, he was raised to follow in his father's footsteps. El Chapo Guzman had cultivated his own marijuana plantation at the age of 15, only to become the most reliable hitman for the Guadalajara cartel in the late 70s, and when its leader was caught in the late 1980s, he used his savings to form the Sinaloa cartel. Moreover, Salazar was only 12 years old when his father was sentenced to 20 years for drug trafficking and bribery in 1995. He then joined the flashy cartel lifestyle before turning the age of 18 and started using aliases like Cesar, El Chapito, Jorge, Alejandro Cadena Salazar, as well as Luis. Then, in January 2001, his father broke out of prison. In the absence of El Chapo Guzman following his final 2016 arrest and also subsequent extradition, the two Guzman brothers have been at odds with El Mayo as well as their uncle El Guano, or full name Orleano Guzman Luera, over control of the group's operations. Now, given that their father founded the group, the Guzman brothers seem to have felt entitled to inherit what their father created, and while indeed much flashier with spending drug proceeds as well as partying than El Mayo, the Chapitos know about the inner workings of the cartel quite well, and they're looking to assume supreme control. And as a result, fierce battles between the two sides have continued for years, and in May 2020, Jose Rodrigo Archiga Gamboa, alias El Chino Anthrax, once the head of the Sinaloa cartel's Anthrax hit squad, as well as an associate of El Mayo, was reportedly found dead after escaping federal probation supervision in San Diego, and the Chapitas are believed to be behind the slaying. 
Moreover, El Chino Anthrax was a close associate of El Mayo, growing up with the Zambada family and along with El Mayo's sons in Culiacan, and his long history makes it quite unlikely that the aging capo would have had much to gain from killing a longtime ally at a time when he could have needed him as their internal tensions remain high. In the year 2020, a multi-hour shootout reportedly between the two sides outside Culiacan left 16 dead. Now, while the Chapitos have kept the heat up, United States authorities have taken note, and by the end of the year 2021, the United States State Department announced that, in addition to facing federal drug trafficking charges, the government had raised its reward to $20 million for information which would eventually help them in capturing the four sons. The United States Treasury Department has also sanctioned the Chapitos under the so-called Kingpin Act, and despite being in the crosshairs of United States authorities, the Chapitos have only stepped up their efforts to exert even more dominance over the drug cartel, which El Chapo Guzman himself once led. And just recently, in February 2022, armed men reportedly who were very loyal to the Chapitos, riding in a convoy of many vehicles, laid siege on the municipality of Caborca near the United States-Mexico border. For hours, the convoy had occupied the city as local police were unable to repel them until morning, and in the end, the attack left two dead and at least five others kidnapped. Moreover, with the help of Salazar, a local group aligned with the Sinaloa cartel for years, the Guzman brothers have sought to secure control of a key drug trafficking corridor stretching from their original home base in Sinaloa through Sonora as well as Baja California as well as over the US-Mexico border. So you might be wondering where is the son of El Chapo today? The proverbial chokehold seemed to tighten when Salazar was indicted by a federal grand jury in the Southern District of California on 25th of July 2014. He and his colleagues were charged with conspiracy to import methamphetamine, cocaine and marijuana, and to launder monetary instruments. If this is all true, then both the Guzman siblings were released within one week and had been operating from the shadows ever since. El Chapo, meanwhile, was extradited on the 19th of January 2017, facing a 17-count indictment, and was sentenced to life in July 2019. Ultimately, nobody really knows where Salazar is today. While he maintained a Twitter account with 166,000 followers and lavished his fans with photos of cars, big cats, and women, Ivan has not posted since 2016 and continues to be haunted with a $5 million bounty on his head. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on this? Did you know about El Chapo's son? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be always up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again in another video.